I agree. That's a totally reasonable position to take. I mean, you know, what can I say? Admiral Lutt, you have a calm call. Admiral Lutt. Uh, excuse me, I have to go uh, get this. Uh, great chatting with you. Uh, hope to meet up with you again someday. Excuse me. Uh, where's the nearest comm terminal? Okay. Thank you. This is Admiral Lud. Sir, this is Tarsi. We got a call that you need to contact Admiral Quinn right away, sir. Okay, Tarsi, thank you. Computer, connect me to Admiral Quinn. Ah, Admiral Lud. We've received a request for aid from the Deferi, a warp capable species in the Alpha Quadrant. They're located near the Cardassian space. And they reported several attacks on their shipping. Since the Fury are not as technologically sophisticated as the Federation, and they are asking for help, we should assist them. Head out there and see what you can do. Quinn out. Okay, so Quinn wants us to go report to Admiral Sura of the Fury sector. Okay. Look to Tarsi. Tarsi, recall the crew. We got a mission. Yes, sir. Okay, let's head down to the ship. Docking Bay, there's Docking Port 3, I think that's it, is that it there? Yes. Ship already? Yes, the status says ready. Right, Helm, take us out. We're heading towards Defira Space. On you go. On the ships, it's kind of busy here today. Say, we're clear of the station. Then, by all means, engage. Head towards Tefira. All things in balance, all things in time. Yes, Ambassador Sura, you called? You needed some help? I was quite impressed with the successful outcome of the recent trade negotiations at Starbase 39 Sierra. Oh yeah, that was a couple of months ago, Ambassador. Glad it could have been of some use. 
and I am pleased to invite the Federation to send it down, boy, to the Defera sector for a more formal meeting. This could be a great opportunity for both our people. The Federation has requested an alliance with us on several occasions, but my people's adherence to balance has prevented it. Now they are more open to the idea of ties with other worlds. Perhaps your visit will be the start of a lasting friendship between our peoples. We go to the Fury system while we're here. And the sister the Fury. Okay, yep, and we'll take a uh, deflector array, I guess. We have arrived at the Thera system, sir. Perform and stand with sensor sweeps now. Sir, some of this debris is only days old. There have been no reports in the Thera of accidents or combat in this area. I don't like the looks of this. I recommend that we proceed with caution. I agree, yours. You ask us standing by for the approach to the Thera, sir. Shall we begin our escort? Yep. The, the Jessica, we're gonna follow it in. Greetings, my friend. May you be blessed with balance. I remember well the assistance that you provided during negotiations at your Starbase 39 Sierra. I am gratified to see that, just as I went to visit your people before, now you have come to visit mine. Surely this balance will be beneficial for the both of us. We appreciate the Federation's willingness to meet with us in these trying times. Helm, escort the Jaska. See, we're picking our approaching warp signature, attempting to identify it now. Load weapons, red alert. There's not enough here to get a lock on the warp trail, Captain. The ship is using a jamming technology. Sir, the ship was running a subspace jammer, so we weren't able to get a lock on it before it warped out. I am, however, picking up a residual warp signature, and we might learn more from a detailed scan. Oh, the jazz is going off way ahead. Helm, catch up. Load the torpedoes as well. Greetings, Jaska escort ship Tempest Edak Freera. We are required to identify your credentials and verify you are in fact the correct ship prior to granting you access to Defira. Please submit to a scan at this time. 
Understood. So do you require assistance? No assistance is required at this time. Tempest Edax Rerom. Thank you for your cooperation. Our scans are complete. Please provide us with your clearance code before you establish orbit around Defira. Hey, Space Security, our Defira access code is 946 Whiskey 2 Quebec Oscar Sierra. Thank you for the protection and escort. Your diligence and readiness does you credit. Perhaps later we will be able to learn more about that strange ship. For now, let us discuss the possibility of trade and diplomacy between our peoples. My attaché will send you the planetary coordinates for transport. These coordinates will take you to one of our famous historical parks and preservation sites. I hope that you enjoy your visit to Defira. When you are ready to talk, please meet me on the steps of the historic tower. It will be across the park, past the monument, when you arrive. I've received planetary coordinates from the Jessica. Are you ready to beam down, sir? I guess so, Jaws. On my way to the transporter room. Right, crew. Should be a nice, safe enough place. So, no need to. Get weapons out, just uh, take a wander around. Uh, shuttle pad interesting. Interesting looking shuttles, wouldn't you say? But if we go up the hill, we can get a good look view of the town. Yes, you do. And try turning them all. Oh, this is a pretty planet. Still a little bit of nature running from when we spent too much time on the ship. We need a bit of PT. Bit of a steep drop. I'll have a bit of mountain scrambling, don't you? On keep up.
Kind of interesting. An interesting, beautiful area. On Peb, you can do it! Yay, Peb wins! That's your second. Come here, there. Ooh, Tarsi. Tarsi, Tarsi, Tarsi. Somebody's gonna do some extra PT this week! I think he said he's on the steps of the building. I guess that's over there. This. Interesting structure. My word, what is that? I do believe that's a temporal probe. Here on Defira, of all places. Picking up the chronal distortion, sir. Let's hope it's not another password box. No, it's a number box, okay. Seven, two is nine, so A must be six. Five, one is six, so B must be nine. Eight and four is twelve, so C must be three. This probe is linked into the Defira information network. It's been set to search for mention of unusual artifacts and devices. Apparently, the cool think that there's something here that they can steal or learn from. Possibly not something native to Depira. Interesting. Make sure to copy and purge the memory core, please. We have salvaged some components from the probe. That's a quantum field focus. Nice. Alright, let's go meet this ambassador. Oh my, there was that tower we went with. Went all the way around. That is an interesting sculpture, though. Watch out, people will fall in down there. Hello, Ambassador. Welcome to Defira, honored visitor. Tell me about the Defira. This site is the oldest continually inhabited site on my world, and as such we find it to be the ideal place to welcome visitors. We have an old culture steeped in tradition and respect for all beings. The Makers taught us the concept of balance, and we strive for it in all things. For more than a century, we have remained neutral in our dealings with other worlds. For where there is balance, so there is also truth. We are now looking to expand. Our population is growing to a point where we will put a strain on our world's resources. To correct this imbalance, a portion of our people have volunteered to seek new homes among the stars. This, of course, has put us in greater contact with beings such as yourself, 
and we welcome the new ideas and technology that you have to offer. Perhaps by looking inward for so long, we have become out of balance with the galaxy as a whole. I look forward to your help in correcting this. Tell me about those ruins to the east of here, the ones we were just at. We believe that that site to the east of here was once used by the preservers because they've located several artifacts that appear to correspond with their technology. Although we do not know for certain, it is our belief that the Fury were one of the races seeded through the quadrant by the preservers. They, like us, revered balance and saw life as sacred. They went to great lengths to preserve all life. Can you explain more about balance? Everything must be in balance. When one side is dominant over the other, the inequality... When one side is dominant over the other, the inequity breeds resentment. The resentment leads to hatred and misunderstanding. On our world, there is equity in everything. All major decisions are made by polling the populace, so that a small group of leaders will not have power over the whole. Persons in what can be deemed leadership positions, like myself, serve at the pleasure of our people. If we abuse our positions, there will be imbalance and we will be removed. Tell me more about these preservers. The preservers were an ancient race that died out eons ago, but made great impact on the galaxy in their time. The preservers would transplant members of races that were threatened by extinction to worlds where they could thrive. The planet Amarind was settled by them, and they brought ancient Terrans there to create a new community. For many years, scientists theorized that the preservers were responsible for the spread of humanoids across the galaxy. We now know that the preservers not only transplanted communities, but also created them. The preservers believed that they were alone in the galaxy. In the hopes of creating an ecosystem of races like themselves, they seeded their genetic material on other planets. In this way, they gave their children the companions that they never had. Sir, sensors from the Tempest Edax rerun are picking up brain transporter signatures. Get ready, sir. They could be hostile. Right. Weapons. Oh. I was up a medical generator scan. Get in that field, heal up. Stay here, Ambassador. Gonna clear them out for you. Don't like gate crashes. Which side first do you reckon? Left or right? Go this way first. Can we surprise them from above?
okay. Okay, let's push on. Them all. Good, good, good. Citizens, get into cover. Don't just hang around here like fools. Some more. Or by the shutters, it looks like. You know, you both give me a grenade. That troubles. people green okay throwing cold grenades at us what is this demolition man okay it looks like the rest of them are out that way follow me Cross this bridge and into this impressive monument. ruins that we saw before. Hey there, let's try and warm you up some. We got over here, we got a petition, eh?
I think that's got them all. We broke through Federation defenses and attacked your homeworld. We ruined your fleet during the war. You should know better than to oppose us, Starfleet. We will wrest the Preserver secret from this place, and we will destroy anybody who attempts to stop us. Hot, eh? Not that impressed. Obviously, it is not safe for me to remain here, given the threat of further attacks. What now? I will return to the Jessica for now, my friend. I believe I will be of best use there. Sir, there are more ships walking in. We need you and the away team back on the ship. Prepare for emergency transport. Give me a second, Tomat. Okay, it looks like that other guy's gone. Alright, beam us up, Tomat. The Breeder are attacking the Jessica. We should intervene before they're overwhelmed. I agree. Load it up. Good. Some shield coverage. Get those hollow emitters going. Okay, never mind. Sir, the Breen don't attack at random. I'd say that there's more going on here than the Defiri are telling us. We're being hailed by the Jessica, sir. Shall I put it on screen? Yes, by all means. Thank you for the assist, Tempest Edax Rerum. We took some damage, but it's nothing that a few days in space dock won't fix. Oh yes, you did take some. I'll send some engineering teams over right now to get your system stabilized at least.
My friend, I have not been completely honest with you. I fear my actions are out of balance with the universe. I think we should speak face to face. Do I have your permission to come aboard the USS Tempest Edax? Sure. Ambassador Sura, welcome aboard the... Welcome aboard the Ted. Honourable ally, I apologise for my... secrecy, but at the time, it was the best course of action. This is not the first time that the Breen have attacked the Vera. Their aggression has increased in recent weeks, and we have been unable to either stop them or open a diplomatic dialogue. The Federation has always promised to be our ally in a time of need. While we preferred to remain neutral in your conflict, we have looked favourably upon the Federation's actions. You seek to maintain peace and stability throughout the Alpha Quadrant. Now we are in need of your help. The Breen are attacking your ships and colonies without provocation. Hundreds have already died, and I fear that more lives will be lost unless we have your assistance. My people face destruction. I cannot believe that the balance of the universe requires us to die. I will be in contact with you again. I can only hope that your efforts will tip the balance in our favour. If there is anything else you would ask of me, or if you need greater understanding of my people, please do not hesitate to ask. No, I think we're done for today, Ambassador. I understand all too well. Ambassador Sura has safely returned to the Jessica, sir, and he requests that we contact him once we have left the system. And we're ready to depart on your orders. Joel, look yours. Let's go. All right, contact Ambassador Sura. You are a friend to the Deferi. We will speak again, and it is my fondest hope that you'll be able to repair the balance and save my people from the Breen. Then we can have a long-lasting and peaceful alliance. We will speak again soon. Right, so we get our reward, our expertise, dilithia. I believe we're going for the deflector array because our deflector array is kind of old. So, grab that. There we go. And with that, uh, that about does it for tonight's episode. Uh, we've uh, come to the aid of the Defiri, and we found that they are being smacked around by the Breen, which is not a nice thing. So, let's see what we can do to help. And what you can do to help is hit like, and if you haven't already, hit subscribe. That would be great. Thanks. But, from me, from everyone here on the Tempest Deed Act Rerun, the uh, Time Destroyer, I thank you for watching. I'll see you next time for more in the exciting temporal adventures of Lob Sanglot. Bye for now.